welcome to this episode of Inside Southeastern Football with Head Coach Ron Roberts presented by the Hammond Square Mall as we're right here at Shane's Rib Shack for our show this week, our week two episode as I uh, want to welcome in the head football coach here, Southeastern Lions, Coach Ron Roberts and Coach 1-0. That's all that matters after the first game of the season. I know we talked about it for months that the first game was a conference game. It was a little bit different, but right now you're 1-0 in the season and 1-0 in the Southland Conference. Yeah, it was a great feeling. Uh, there was a lot of stake, obviously, opening up with a conference game. Um, I, was, I was appreciative of the fans that made the trip, uh, have our own little sports section there. Uh, great environment for college football. I thought Northwestern did a great job, obviously, of, of, of creating an environment and, and filling their stands. And uh, great football game. We're going to take a look at the highlights coming up here on the program, but this was a game that the score might not have been as indicative of how the game went. I mean, your team absolutely dominated the football game, rushed for over 400 yards, held those guys uh, to only 57 snaps in the whole game uh, defensively. Um, they tighten it up in the fourth quarter with a couple of big plays, but then you have a fantastic drive to finish it out. Yeah, I think the last drive was uh, was a classic uh, what you want as a, as a head coach. Uh, they come in there, I think, 16 plays, uh, eat 75. Up the, uh, 75 yards, eat up the clock, and take the ball down and, and finish it with a touchdown. Great job for all, because we do have some young guys on that drive. There's you know, new guys trying to get some experience, and uh, that was that was a huge uh uh, confidence builder drive for our football team. 16 plays, all running plays. You're going to see that here coming up. But let's go ahead and go out and check out the, the voice of the Lions, Mark Willoughby, with the first half highlights against Northwestern State. Of an offset eye formation, Cody Sutton. Here's a near side throw to Dylan Bozier. He'll have about three, maybe four, as he's pushed out of bounds. Left side is Turner Jackson. Deshea has time. Now he's hit from behind. Ball is taken from him, and I think Northwestern State has it on a turnover. As Deshea had some time of the gun, he'll turn. He'll have the reverse coming near side. Ed Egan's got a wall, and uh, he gets the corner. He'll have about four or five. He'll operate out of the offset eye. Hands it left side. This is not going to go anywhere. As uh, Taylor run down after a short gain, fourth and five. Gets it down, kick is up, it's got plenty of height, looks like it's right down the middle and good. So Northwestern State takes the football, hands it away again. This is a big hole. Roberson's got it, has the first down out across the 40 to the 42. So uh, nice blocking inside. Lander two wides left, sends a man in motion far side. This will be William French, and he's got some running room left side into Demon territory. William French. In the football game, junior college transfer out of Dodge City Community College. Worked and he's going to be so much better this season calling plays for this line offense. And here's a handoff, Cody Sutton. He's got big running room, and he'll be pushed out of bounds at the 30, giving 15 more. That's three wides left. Sutton in the backfield beside Lander. Deshea takes the football. It's a three-man rush. Has a crossing route that's dropped. Had a wide open Chris Briggs, and he just simply dropped it. It's a clean snap, kick is up, and it's not going to come close. Uh, just didn't get it very well. Lions in a man-to-man. -man. He'll turn, play fake. Looking, has time, wants to go deep. Now he's got a man down there, and it is intercepted by Harlan Miller. Harlan Miller, the All-American, picks it off as Rivers hung it up, and he had a man open briefly. Look out. Joe Graves fires it back. It's a three-man rush. Lander steps up, has a man in intercepted. Coming back to your side with it. And down at the Lion 49-yard line. Eight-yard line. Lions show pressure. Here they come. And they got Hazelwood. He's going to go down for the first sack of the year. And that is uh, T.J. West. On a fourth and 15 punt. It. The snap is fumbled. It'll be a low line drive. Harlan Miller is going to field it at his 16. Has a wall left side. He's got running room and a great block. Down the far sideline. Knocked out of bounds out around midfield. We have a flag down. They're running into the kicker. Be... They'll line up in a power formation. They'll run Cody Sutton left side. He'll have the first down. Nice blocking over on that left side by Aaron Reed and company. Braves is your center. Hands it away. Here's Roberson. He's got running room out across uh, the 45, up close to another first down. Gowan, junior college transfer, checks in at left tackle. And this will be Marceland. And was still running hard. Breaks a tackle inside the 30. 25, 20, and out of bounds at around the 17-yard line. Juice on the loose. Left. Left hash. This is Juice. And he's got inside the five, powering his way toward the one-yard line. Move you out of the way. Here's Roberson, left side, into the end zone. Touchdown, Southeastern on the board for the first time in 2015. And a methodical 75-yard snap from the 15. 
still at the 10 yard line and uh, extra point is no good. So Tatum. Stephen Rivers is the only quarterback that didn't have any tape on Mark. And here's a running play. It's not going to go anywhere. Boy, I tell you that Lion defensive front just, just depends on right here. If he feels like he can pick up a half a yard, he can control the line of scrimmage or just go catch on third and long. Lions show pressure. And here they come. And they've got him wrapped up for the second time in the ball game. Big loss back to the 28-yard line. Didn't look like he got the first down, but I did think he got a little closer to the... Yeah, I think he's short. I think it was... Takes a football, hands it left side. Here's Roberson. He's uh, got some running room out uh, close to midfield. Give him close to five yards. Lander takes a football, hands it uh, straight ahead. Roberson breaks it. He's got room, looks for a block, gets the sideline. 25-20, breaks back inside, and now wrestled out of bounds as we have Joe Graves down. But two high safety, smiley in motion. Jeff's going to get it right side. And he has uh, inside the five touchdown. Jeff Smiley with a nice uh, juke move at around the seven. Cut back inside and puts it in the end zone. The senior out of Flower Mound, Marcus High School in Texas. Snap is clean, kick is up. Looks like he's got it. So the freshman, Hazelwood, is going to hand it to uh, right side. This is Taylor, and he's going to be wrapped up for no gain. Nice job coming up to make the tackle. That's and then uh, we'll grab him here in just a second. We'll keep it right here until Allen uh, gets Coach Roberts, but uh, Robbie, all things. Ron, this is was really characterized uh, in, in the first half of really what a first game in college football, what no preseason. It was a little sloppy on both sides to start out the game, but you go in the locker room with the lead, 13 to six. Yeah, really, uh, we came out and we made some errors there. Uh, got a, took a sack early, uh, missed a, protect, a protection call, uh, and because of the turnover, okay, and they hit Deshaies, he's not looking. Um, uh, you know, I thought we uh, you know, we, throw, we turn the ball over a couple times. Um, you know, again, I think it kind of led into why we went to the run game so heavily in this ball game was uh, uh, just so we were breaking some people in, just wanted to go where our comfort zone was, and it was really I felt was on our offensive line and our running backs and our receivers running the football and doing that. Defensively, held those guys to 50 yards offense in the first half. Yeah, amazing job by our defense. I thought our guys did a great job. You know, hats off obviously to defense coordinator Blake Williams and. Uh, just the whole defense staff getting those guys ready to play because I thought uh, uh, they were a talented offense coming in and uh, our guys played exceptionally fast, uh, dictated the tempo of the ball game, and I thought dominated the game up front. All right, let's go ahead and take a break. When we come back, we'll take a look at the second half highlights right here on Inside Southeastern Football with head coach Ron Roberts presented by the Hammond Square Mall. Hey, I'm Shane. My granddad, Big Dad, always said, do what you love to do and do it better than anyone else. My dream was to open up my own barbecue place. Good barbecue isn't just cooking, it's about making memories. Big Dad is not with us anymore, but his principles still guide us. That's why we still make our barbecue the same way at every store. Good people making great barbecue. Shane's Rib Shack. Your eyesight is so important, and when it comes to your eye care, let the friendly staff at the Bond Roden Eye Clinic care for you. Doctors Hunter Bond and Chris Roten, along with their staff of trained doctors, are committed to providing every patient with quality care. The Bond Roten Eye Clinic has the latest medical technology and eye care to help you, the patient. With over 14 years of experience, the Bond Roten Eye Clinic has three locations to serve you with offices in Denham Springs, Hammond, and Amit. So if it's a checkup, glasses, or LASIK surgery, you need to visit the Bond Roten Eye Clinic. For more information on the clinic, please visit bondroteniclinic.com. Hi, I'm Ron Roberts, head football coach of your Southeastern Lions, the two-time defending Southland Conference champions. Now's the perfect time to come buy your season tickets for the 2015 season. Season tickets start as low as $80, and family packs begin as low as $200 for our five home games. Action gets underway on September 12th as we begin our quest for our third straight Southland Conference title. For more information, please visit lionup.com or call 985-549-LION. Come be a part of Lion Nation as the champs return to Strawberry Stadium. And don't forget to line up. Welcome back to Inside Southeastern Football with head coach Ron Roberts presented by the Hammond Square Mall right here from Shane's Rib Shack at the mall. We're going to go back out to Northwestern State with the Voice of the Lions and check out those second half highlights as Southeastern took on Northwestern State. Takes a football, hands it away, and Loren spins out of an arm tackle and picks up about three on the play. Two wide, he'll send Smiley in motion, takes a high snap, he'll keep it. He's got big running room, and he fumbled the football, and the Demons have it. He's stripped from behind, and I tell you, if he... 
Actually lost the yard mark, hard to believe. Lions show blitz, they'll sweep it left side, and he is wrapped up by JQ Sandoff again. Taylor looked like he had some running room. Hazelwood to throw. Lions come after him, the screen's set up, it's well set up, but the Lions close it down and the ball is fumbled and Southeastern is on it, I think. Yes, they are. Micah Eugene jumps on it at the 32. And it was well set up. It's, boy, they have no safety back. And here's uh, Marcelan again, and he breaks another tackle, and he is off to the races. And he is going to, down the sideline, 15, 10, 5, knocked out of bounds at the, let's see where they spot it. Looks like he stepped down of bounds, 10, 9. But Smiley goes in motion. It's going to be Smiley left side. He's got the sideline. Hurdles a man out of bounds at the 1. Jeff Smiley went airborne. Briggs is lined up left side, ball on the left hash. Sutton gets it. He's going to run into the end zone as he piles forward, and Southeastern has stretched it. To a two-touchdown lead, 19. Sutton will move him over to the left side. He'll send a man in motion. That's Turner. And he Landers got it. He'll have the first down and more. Across the 35-40. Midfield, 45-40, 30, 25, 15, 10, 5. He scores! Deshae Lander housed it from 81 yards. Touchdown, Lions. In the box. He's going to drop the throw, and he's going to take off with it. Flushed out of the pocket, now dumps it off, and that is caught. It'll be a first down out across the 40-yard line. Goldman Thaw takes a snap, hands it away to Taylor, and he breaks another tackle, and he's going to score. And uh, he just runs almost untouched. All right, Alan, go ahead. Uh, it looks like the Mike Eugene. That's Lorenz to his left, takes it. And he'll keep it on his own read. He's got some running room. Tries to spin out of the tackle. Boy, if he would have really taken the football. Left hash, Blumenthal drops the throw. It's a three-man rush. He can, run. he can take off with it if he wants to. And he's going to have the first down. He's out of bounds for 45. Third and four. And Southeastern jumps off sides. Let's see if they throw the flag. They do not. And he's going to be hit in the backfield for a loss. There was no flag on the play. Lions might have got a break. Ball in the Left hash, he'll give it to Marsland, he'll reverse field, breaks a tackle, looks for a block, he stood up at the line of scrimmage, tries to push full yard line, takes a snap, he'll drop the throw, four-man rush, across the middle, caught, and that's Egan, he'll have it, he'll have the first down out to midfield, or was that, stands at midfield and the gun, he'll drop the throw, Lions heat him up, down the middle of the field, caught, and that's going to be a touchdown, Northwestern State, Lions just ran into each other, the Demons are right and in motion coming near side. He's going to get it on the end around. And who's got the football? Can't quite see that. Smiley or is it Lander? Since Smiley in motion. Smiley's going to get it right side. He tries to get the corner, and he does. And he breaks it and gets the first down. We've got a great block over there by, I think, Dylan Bozier. It's like Roberson back in the ball game. Lander takes it and keeps the football left side. He's got close to another first down. Let's see if he's got it. Looks like he's a little bit short. Everybody at the line of scrimmage. Here's Cody Sutton, and he ha has the first down, I think, on it's, second effort. It depends effort. on the spot, guys. I think he got it. Well, chains out. We'll stretch him out and see uh, if we got it, and we do. That'll be by the length of the football, about exactly what we said. So we're going to send man in motion. Lander's going to keep it, and he's got running room, and he's going to have the first down as he breaks a tackle inside the 25 on the zone read keep. Just what we talked about on the patch. And resets the formation. Takes the football, hands it away to Juice, and he's on the loose, and he is uh, inside the five. Boy, almost fumbled the football. For Lions win this one 34 to 20. Before we get Coach's thoughts on the win, let's go back out to Turpin Stadium and hear from some players who had some big games in this one. Tonight, man, it was just, it was just some pressure build up. We've been working hard all summer and camp for this. So, first time we had the ch chance to show, showcase our talent. I mean, it was pretty good de defense on both ends, and just we just kept playing hard and trusting our offense, and they trusted in us. So that's how we finished with the W. Uh, we have a great set of backs. We got, I think Zay, like three-time All-American. Smoothie's pretty good. Gene, a powerful runner. And she, he's quick. 
it got good agility and things like that. We got a great set of backs. We have five special backs. Uh, we have a special quarterback. Uh, we have special, you know, speed guys. Um, you know, a lot of it tonight was us just getting on guys. You know, uh, you know, we were able to push them around a little bit up front as the game went on because uh, they were some big guys, and I think they got. Uh, I think you know our tempo got them down a little bit. But um, you know, tonight was one of those games where it just required a lot of rushing. I mean, you know, if we had to throw the ball 40 times to win, uh, we throw the ball 40 times to win. But hey, we'll take uh, we'll take it any way we go. A hostile conference win on the road. Those aren't easy. And hey, we're, I'm happy with how we we finished. We executed and responded to adversity. As a running back, I mean, I like to stay fresh. So if I get a big run, I, I rather rotate my guys in and let them get a good run. And we feed off each other. We rub it off on each other. And the O line loving it, and we running behind them. It's a great feeling. Coach, we heard some players there, some uh, some guys that had some fantastic ball games in this one. Holland Miller with a couple of interceptions. Uh, Julius Marsaland, Juice had a fantastic, kind of a breakout game for him with 120 yards rushing. A redshirt freshman had a tremendous game running the ball, but overall a great performance by your club. Uh, it was a great performance. Any, any conference win is always a great win, especially on the road. They're so hard to come by. And uh, I, I was real pleased with a lot of guys' efforts, you know, across the board, offensive line, and board, across the board, you could give them an award by themselves to be able to run the ball for four, over 450 yards. What, a, what an incredible accomplishment there. Um, Juice, again, you know, outstanding job. We knew what he was capable of doing coming in the game. Uh, it's nice to see him come out of the gate so that strong this early in the season as a redshirt freshman. And uh, he did a fabulous job. Harlan Miller, like you already mentioned. Hey, Coach, it was also nice to see uh, X back on the field. Xavier Roberson, he's been such a great player here. Uh, was coming off of an injury, looked explosive in this game. Was back more at the tailback position as we saw him kind of play more receiver a year ago. He's a guy that bounces around and can play all over the field. We can do a lot of things with him. We try to get him that ball in space as much as we can. Uh, but that was good to see. It's good to see him play that well. Uh, he, you know, he's still probably at, you know 90 percent. Um, and uh, I think every week he goes by, he's going to get a little healthier and get that step back. All right, let's go ahead and take a break. When we come back, we'll have more right here on Inside Southeastern Football with head coach Ron Roberts, presented by the Hammond Square Mall. Inside Southeastern Football with Coach Ron Roberts is supported by Louisiana First Choice Auto Auction, located in Southeastern's hometown of Hammond, Louisiana. Louisiana's First Choice Auto Auction is a dealer-only auto auction locally owned by John Poteet. For more information on Louisiana First Choice Auto Auction or their upcoming charity golf tournament, please visit www.lafcaa.com or visit Louisiana First Choice Auto Auction on Facebook and Twitter. Rendy's Quick Stop, located just outside the gates of Southeastern on University Drive, has everything you need in a convenience store. If you're looking for a quick snack or a full-service cold drink fountain, hot food to go from Champ's Chicken and Fish 2, or an ice-cold beer, make sure you visit Rendy's Walk-In Beer Cooler. Rendy's also has a huge selection of import and domestic wine. So whether you're running low on gas or whether you just want to pick up lunch or supper to go, visit Rendy's Quick Stop. Rindy's accepts Lions Lanyap for Southeastern students. Rindy's Quick Stop, a proud supporter of Southeastern football. Hey, I'm Shane. My granddad, Big Dad, always said, do what you love to do and do it better than anyone else. My dream was to open up my own barbecue place. Good barbecue isn't just cooking. It's about making memories. Big Dad is not with us anymore but his principles still guide us. That's why we still make our barbecue the same way at every store. Good people making great barbecue. Shane's Rib Shack. Hi, I'm Ron Roberts, head football coach of your Southeastern Lions, the two-time defending Southland Conference champions. Now's the perfect time to come buy your season tickets for the 2015 season. Season tickets start as low as $80 and family packs begin as low as $200 for a five home games. Action gets underway on September 12th as we begin our quest for a third straight Southland Conference title. For more information, please visit lionup.com or call 985-549-LION. Come be a part of Lion Nation as the champs return to Strawberry Stadium. And don't forget to line up. Welcome back to Inside Southeastern Football with head coach Ron Roberts presented by the Hammond Square Mall as we come to you from Shane's Rib Shack as we're about to chow on some fantastic food here at Shane's. It's now time to take a look at our Lion feature this week and we take a look as some Lion fans made the trip on a Thursday night to Natchitoches for some tailgating. It's three hours before the 2015 season kicks off and Lion Nation is gathered in an empty field just beyond the outfield wall of the Northwestern State softball field for a pregame tailgating party. 
hosted by the Lions Athletic Association. We, we keep up with what's going on year round. We know what's happening. We watch uh, fall camp. We watch the spring practice. Uh, go to the spring game. Uh, we we plan out our our fall uh, travel schedule. Make our reservations and you know ready for some football. Ready to watch watch the Lions and Ron and his staff. A uh, bunch of new new coaches on the staff. You know preparing these young men to get out there and battle for a conference championship. Kelly Wells and his family never miss a game home or away. It all got started back in 1966 when Carl Wells graduated from Southeastern. His two sons Kevin and Kelly went on to follow in his footsteps and now a love for the Lions is a family affair. Dad is a 1966 graduate of Southeastern and uh, he and mom were married at that time and, and my brother Kevin and I we we're both Southeastern graduates and dad started out years ago bringing us to Strawberry Stadium. Uh, we, we, would, we would park there in the circle and go into the stadium from, from little boys all the way up. If football is in Kelly's blood then you know it's in the blood of Tyler Stoddard and Maurice Sutton. This time last year these two were in the locker room getting ready to play their senior season. Now they are a part of the Lion Nation tailgating party. So football, it's always been a big part of my life, but uh, these past four years at Southeastern, you know, it's made me, you know, buy into this family, and it, I've become a Lion, you know, and part of Southeastern, so I wouldn't miss this game for the world, honestly. Their defense is still strong, I'll tell you that, and then, you know, you got uh, Deshea at quarterback right now, and then the O-line's improving, so I'm more excited to see the offense because, you know, I can, I can expect what to see from the defense, you know, our DBs are still strong, so uh, other than that, though, I'm excited to see what the offense is coming out with. I'll look at the game overall but you know I also pay close attention to the defense you know knowing that you know there are a couple guys gone but I also pay attention to the offense on knowing that, that we're missing Bennett but you know those guys it's the same offense it's the same heartbeat so no, no matter if one guy goes down the next man has to rise up and play his part. A great time was had by all who attended the tailgating party. The food was plentiful and after everyone filled their stomach with a meal the group walked over to Turpin Stadium to watch the Lions beat the Demons 34 to 20 and start the season off 1-0 in Southland Conference play. Coach, it was a Thursday night game. Maybe some people had some trouble making the trip to Natchitoches, but a lot of people went, and even some former players. It was nice to see those guys up there. Oh, yeah, it's great to look up in there. Uh, we're on pregame warm-ups and, and see some uh, familiar faces of former players uh, lying in the rail there before we uh, begin the game. Uh, and I really, like I said before, I'm very, very appreciative of all the people that made the trip. Coach, uh, last week we, we mentioned that you have five new coaches on your coaching staff this year. We're going to try to highlight one of those guys every week and introduce the Lion fans to some of these people. This week we're going to talk about Blake Williams, uh, your new defensive coordinator this year. Guy comes from a, an outstanding football pedigree. His, his father was Greg Williams. He was actually the defensive coordinator for the St. Louis Rams uh, for, for a season. Uh, Blake Williams with a, a lot of knowledge that he brings to your football team. Yeah, that and his, I think his excitement and his passion for the game comes across to our kids. Uh, 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 he is a you know, he's a passionate guy about the game of football and he's passionate about how well they play on defense and um, you know I think that's going to hopefully leak us to, to, to carry on what we did on, on Thursday night but to, to hopefully push us over the top on defense side of the ball this year. Coach, I know as a as a head coach you evaluate your players but you also have to evaluate your coaches. How, how do you think Blake did in his first game here for Southeast? He did an awesome job. Did an amazing job of having the guys ready to play. Uh, also some of the, you know the way he attacks protections and the way he. He's just got a, he's a step ahead of the game as far as you know, he's going through it. Uh, he's two plays ahead um, thinking, and, and, I, and I like that concept of being able to do that. And uh, he's just a great job of getting everybody ready. All right, let's go ahead and take a break. When we come back, we'll take a look at the Lions' up opponent for this weekend as they're going to take on Florida Tech in the home opener at Strawberry Stadium right here on Inside Southeastern Football with head coach Ron Roberts presented by the Hammond Square Mall. Hey, I'm Shane. My granddad, Big Dad, always said, do what you love to do and do it better than anyone else. My dream was to open up my own barbecue place. Good barbecue isn't just cooking, it's about making memories. Big Dad is not with us anymore, but his principles still guide us. That's why we still make our barbecue the same way at every store. Good people making great barbecue. Shane's Rib Shack. Hi, I'm Ron Roberts. 
Head football coach of your Southeastern Lions, the two-time defending Southland Conference champions. Now's the perfect time to come buy your season tickets for the 2015 season. Season tickets start as low as $80, and family packs begin as low as $200 for our five home games. Action gets underway on September 12th as we begin our quest for our third straight Southland Conference title. For more information, please visit lionup.com or call 985-549-LION. Come be a part of Lion Nation as the champs return to Strawberry Stadium. And don't forget to line up. Welcome back to Inside Southeastern Football with Head Coach Ron Roberts presented by the Hammond Square Mall. And as you can see, we're at Shane's Rib Shack and they brought us out some ribs and macaroni and cheese and baked beans and some cobbler. We're going to dive into this in just a moment. These guys always treat us so well when we come here to do our program. Well, Coach, let's quickly get through the end of this here so we can get to eating. Yeah. But, uh, Coach, this weekend, the home opener at Strawberry Stadium, 7 o'clock kickoff against Florida Tech comes in. I know you're excited to play at home where your team has just been dominant the last few years. I'm excited to see the crowd for this year, 2015. I got high expectations for our fans. They've done an unbelievable job the last couple of years, and uh, I'm looking forward just to get back in that stadium in 2015 and, and hear that crowd rocking on Saturday night. I don't think there's any doubt. It's a 7 o'clock kick, so the, the temperatures ought to be cooling off a little bit here as we're getting into September. Ought to be a nice night for football. Florida Tech comes in. They're a Division II program, but a program with a lot of athletes, and they will, well, they will cause some challenges. Yeah, they've got plenty of athletes running around the field. Uh, they're good football. They're young. They're probably a little inexperienced in some spots, but they got talent, and then uh, you know, but you got to be careful. Those guys are getting better every week, and so I'm expecting them also to be excited to come into our place and play. Uh, we're an FCS opponent. I expect them to come in here uh, jacked up, excited to, to demonstrate their abilities and, and come out and play hard. Lions look to go 2-0 on Saturday night at 7 o'clock against Florida Tech. We expect all of you to be there. There ought to be a great crowd in Strawberry Stadium as the Lions have been absolutely dominant at home since Coach Roberts has taken over here at Southeast. And that's going to do it for us. Thank you so much for joining us. We want to thank Shane's Rib Shack for being our host and also the Hammond Square Mall for being our title sponsor this year. For Coach Ron Roberts, I'm Alan Waddell. We'll see you next week. Lions in a man-to-man. -man. He'll turn, play fake. Looking, has time, wants to go deep. Now he's got a man down there, and it is intercepted by Harlan Miller. Harlan Miller, the All-American, picks it off as Rivers hung it up, and he had a man open briefly. Here's Roberson, left side, into the end zone. Touchdown, Southeastern on the board for the first time in 2015. And a methodical 75-yard, two high safety, smiley in motion. Jeff's going to get it right side. And he has uh, inside the five touchdown. Jeff Smiley with a nice uh, juke move at around the seven. Cut back inside and puts it in the end zone. The senior out of Flower Mound, Marcus High School in Tex lined up left side. Ball on the left hash. Sutton gets it. He's going to run into the end zone as he piles forward. And Southeastern has stretched it to a two touchdown lead. 19. Sutton will move him over to the left side. He'll send a man in motion. That's Turner. And he Landers got it. He'll have the first down and more. Across the 35-40. Midfield. 45-40. 30. 25. 15. 10. 5. He scores. Deshae Lander housed it from 81 yards.